Hey guys, we're about to leave Cupertino. It's been an awesome last two days here and we finally have our review devices. I have iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, and 16 Pro Max. And before we go, I figured I do want to kind of film this in the studio, but maybe, maybe we actually unbox one, start using it and setting it up. So why not we do the iPhone 16 Pro today? Here it is, the iPhone 16 Pro in natural titanium. Peel this off. Look how nice and pretty this new phone is. And then inside the box, you get a braided USB-C to C cable. And also inside this box, this pill-shaped paperwork. What do we have here? information on eSIM setup and just some paperwork on safety and handling. And that's it. No Apple stickers. Meow, 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 meow. This is the same as the phone I'm currently using, natural titanium, but I believe it's going to be similar but not exactly the same. And then when you flip it on its sides, notice there's camera controls right there. And if you zoom in, on the frame, that brushed finish is also slightly different, a bit more textured, but also more smooth. Let's peel this off. Nice. And shall we turn it on? I believe protection is also a good idea. So let's open this iPhone 16 Pro silicone case in stone gray. One arrow. Ooh, look at that. Love it. Okay, let me get my phone. Plop it in. Notice the camera controls are right there. Okay, I have a plane to catch. So I'll set it up on the way and I'll catch you back in the studio. The next day. So we've made it to the studio and nope, we haven't slept yet, but hey, we've got some new iPhones to unbox. I've actually been using uh, my 16 Pro during the flight and on the way here, but I'm excited to show you these new colors. I also have in this box some cases that we can check out later in this video. You've already seen and are probably familiar with the natural titanium iPhone. So now let's look at this year's new color, desert titanium. Let's do this. I can't wait to check out desert titanium. And as you can see, the word iPhone and the Apple logo have hints of gold, maybe copper, depending on how you see it. Let's flip it around, look for the green arrows and pull. Flip it back and lift. Oh, so nice. It's creamy, maybe some brown undertones. Some will say rose gold, definitely not bright yellowish gold. Set it aside, USB-C cable. And in here, some pill-shaped documentation and an eSIM guide. Let's peel it off. How satisfying. Now that we've unboxed these iPhones, let's make sure to protect them with cases from this video's sponsor, Toros. No stranger to this channel and the original designer of the O-shaped stand case, Toros aims with each new release to increase functionality, just like Apple does with each new iPhone. For the iPhone 16 series, they just launched the O-Stand 360 Spin and O-Stand 360 Spin Fusion. 360 refers to full protection thanks to four corner airbags and an elevated lens guard, as well as the stand's ability to spin 360 degrees. Magnets in the ring now offer two times the strength for all your MagSafe accessories Accessories. And just like the new iPhones, they're compatible with Qi2 chargers. Pulling out the stand and slipping your fingers through turns it into a phone grip. So taking selfies feels even more secure, especially now that we've got camera control. And when you want to put your iPhone down, this strength and hinge does both landscape and portrait mode. Perfect for watching videos and FaceTime calls. But why stop there? Toros Glasgow X screen protector provides scratch and fingerprint resistance, matching the narrower bezels on the new iPhone 16 Pro models. It's super Super easy to install. Just snap 
and pull. OSAN 360 spin comes in four colors, including desert gold, which perfectly matches my desert titanium iPhone 16 Pro Max. OSAN 360 spin fusion comes in dune, onyx, and ivory. For the ultimate protection for your new iPhone 16, OSAN 360 spin and Glasgow X are the perfect combination. Just remember to use our links down below. This year, Apple decided to go bold with colors on the iPhone 16, and I'm so excited because we have two of these colors here today. The official colors are ultramarine and pink, but I want to call them Michael Josh Blue, I Justine Pink, and there's also a Dave 2D teal. Let's start with Michael Josh Blue. I'm so excited for this one. Ooh, it's so pretty. I really, really love it. At Apple Park, it actually looked a little bit more purple, but here in the studio, it definitely looks much more my vibe of blue. I love that transparency on that camera bump. This one is so perfect. I think I want to use it as my daily driver. You know what's in here by now, so let's move on to the pink iPhone. Okay, let's do it. The Barbie phone. Lift. Ooh, so beautiful. I think this is the color that Justine has long been waiting for. It's like perfect pink. Again, if you look closely, that transparency around the camera bump is to die for. And the frame is color matched in matte metallic aluminum. As promised, we also have some cases to check out and I actually have three of them right here. The official colors are ultramarine, fuchsia, and for the iPhone 16 Pro Max, a clear case. Not gonna lie, I love the shade of blue. Ah, oh, so pretty. Notice there isn't a cutout. Instead, Apple has built in a capacitive sensor that connects to camera control. Next, let's do the fuchsia case. It's a cross between pink, magenta, and purple. Really can't get over how gorgeous these colors are this year. Beautiful, perfect match. I love it. Okay, last, clear case, also with that built-in camera control sensor. Camera control is here. And speaking of camera control, let me show you a little demo to prove that it works with these new cases. Let's use my iPhone 16 Pro since I've already set it up. Notice I can press to launch the camera and press once very lightly to engage the zoom. I can swipe to zoom in. Then I can press twice to engage the other functions. All of which work even if the case is on thanks to that capacitive sensor that Apple has built into these cases. And here's a little bonus for you. This year, the iPhone 16 series supports 25 watt wireless charging using a new MagSafe charger, which now comes in a two meter variant. For those of you whose night sends are a little bit further away from a power socket. At Apple Park, we actually got to spend more time with the iPhones, all of the colors, so it wouldn't be Gadget Match if I didn't help you answer the question, which color should you buy? After playing around with all the colors, personally, my picks this year for the iPhone 16 are teal and, of course, ultramarine, my favorite. And for the iPhone 16 Pro, I'm still a fan of natural titanium. I just love how it goes with my jewelry and outfits. It matches my rings, my Apple Watch, Watch Ultra 2. I don't think I'm quite ready to do a mixed metal moment like Crystal. The new color Desert Titanium is the one to go if you want the new color or if you wear gold or rose gold jewelry. Of course, if color and jewel tones aren't your cup of tea, white and black titanium are the ones to go for. They're classic. The same goes for the non-pro iPhone 16. There's white as well as black. But if you know me, you'd know I own every single blue iPhone ever released. So obviously, I love ultramarine. It adds a pop of color to an otherwise monotonous outfit. 
Teal is also a fun and beautiful pop of color with hints of green. If you're a fan of anything pink, this year's pink iPhone is to die for. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. I know many friends who are pro users but are thinking about either getting the pink ultramarine or teal iPhone 16 because guys, the colors this year are gorgeous. And what I tell them is, it really doesn't matter if you're going to cover up with a case anyway. Definitely just go pro and get the case in the color you want. While the iPhone 16 is a great phone and powerful enough for most people, if you're a heavy user, then definitely check out everything the pro model has to offer. So this year, if you're tempted by colors, then go for the iPhone 16, but that shouldn't be a deterrent when choosing to go pro. And that was our unboxing of the iPhone 16 series and a little guide on which colors to cop this year. What color and model will you be picking up? Let me know down below. Guys, we've only just begun. We actually are also posting a review video, so if you want to see it, click up here, and we have a lot more iPhone content to come. So make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we post new videos. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff, and for news and updates, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.